Hi guys, I'm remaking the very first video I ever did. It was a pink gradient glitter tip Conad stamp, and I didn't have my voice in it. It was just music, like Enya music, and I redid it since I became partner because you can't have music in your videos and stuff, so I'm redoing it. If it looks familiar, then that's why. Frequently asked questions. I'm so sorry to all the subscribers that have been watching for a long time because this is like repetitive for you. I use lint-free pads. I got these at, I've seen them at Sally Hansen. I've seen them at Walmart. I've seen them at Walgreens. Sometimes I see them and sometimes I don't. You just kind of have to keep an eye out for them. They're lint-free, so when I wipe off my plates, I don't get fuzzies all over the place because that just really annoys me. Then I have the pointy tip q-tips. I find these at Walgreens. Sometimes they're in this container. Sometimes, oh sugar, sometimes they're in this container. Sometimes they're just in a plastic sack. And sometimes they're pointier than others. Like these ones I think I'll like a lot better because they're a lot more pointy than these. And I like them because I can get around my cuticle. Then I'm gonna use this little tiny orally. It's a pink glitter called VIP. It doesn't have a name on the bottom. I don't know where I got this. Google it if you want to try to find it. Then I'm just going to use my Conad White. You guys can use Conad Insta Dry. There's lots of white polishes that work. Plates I'm going to use is M25, the little uh, butterfly here. And I'm going to use the top of this flower that's like a butterfly flower because it's smaller and it'll fit on my pinky for M8 on Conad. You don't have to use Conad. You can use the MASH dupes. You can use the Bundle Monster dupes. I'm sure Bundle Monster has things like this. These are the ones I'm going to put near my cuticle, just little flower, any kind of curved design you want. My camera is a JVC Avario One Touch YouTube Upload 35 Optical Zoom. I don't know what it's called, but those are all the things it says on the side. So, let me just get started. Um, I've done the glitter gradient tip this way for as long as I can remember. Um, I'm going to do left-handed, see if I can't give you guys some so to do the gradient tip, I do one layer and come about halfway down my nail. Wait for it to dry. So then to make the gradient, I come halfway down the, um, you know, you do one layer down to here, another layer up here, and then one layer just here so it looks thicker up here and then it kind of fades out. If you have a technique that works better for you, like sponging, go for it. I'm not telling you you have to do it this way. This is just how I do it because I don't feel like getting out of sponge. You know what I mean? Okay, so I've got my gradient. I put sage feet over the top so it would dry faster so that I could stamp already. I'm using this stamper. This is not... Um, I get asked a lot if this is a stamp also. It's not. It's just a hard conad, whatever. And this is rubber. Some people say they have sponge, but I've never seen sponge. It's just a soft rubber. So it's uh gonna take my little flower image from M6, put some white on it. My throat's getting sore. I hope I'm not getting sick. That would be crappy. Um, am I waiting too long? Oops. Putting some flowers down near the cuticle area. I think I even used flowers from M25 now that I think about it. Maybe these are the ones I used, because the other ones seem too long. Whatever flowers you want, just put the flowers at the base of your cuticle. Flowers, flowers, flowers! Okay, now that we have the flowers, I'm going to do the butterfly. Butterflies on image plate M25. There's the butterfly. I'm 
wherever you want to put him. There's different size butterflies. There's even a sideways flying butterfly on image plate M6. So wherever, however you want to do it, just start putting the butterfly near the tip of your nail. I was using a credit card sta stamper scraper for a long time, but um, I was having problems with the uh, with the uh, bundle monsters when I was using a credit card to stamp. And the only reason I don't use the metal one is because it scrapes my plates. But I've kind of gotten over my whole plate scraping issue. And I just say whatever. I kind of like him at different angles. Um, depends on your preference. So stick him wherever you want to stick him. And I'm going to grab plate M8 and take this one. For my pinky. Oopsie, sorry I missed you guys. And I think I want a sideways one on this nail. So, hi you guys. This is a really cheap spinner. I got this at a swap meet when I was in Sacramento. And what I use, a lot of you have a problem with sage feet when it gets low. I mean, I do too. Because when sage feet is got like this much left, you it gets so gummy and you can hardly get it out of the bottle. So I keep them, when I get my sage feet this low, I keep it for my gemstones. And, okay. You can use a toothpick, you can use a dotting tool, you can use whatever you want. Some, a lot of these gemstone kits even come with, um, even come with a little picker upper, like a little, a little acrylic stick. I dab some in the goo and I put it where I want it to be. And then I pick up a little stone. Oops, picked up two. And I stick them on. I think the little stones are a must on this look. I think. I'll see if I can't find a still frame picture on my computer of what it looked, what I did now, and what I did then. But um, that's my very first Conad stamping.